All right, hey, this is John Nelson with Elite Level Performance, and this is the ISO Extreme Dip. So, the dip is arguably the hardest ISO Extreme there is. However, it is incredibly beneficial if you're able to do it properly. Now, um, a few different, uh, kind of a word of caution before you start with this. Um, dips are kind of notorious for bothering shoulders, and a lot of times that's going to be due to either poor, like poor capsular health, so you have a poor range of motion in the glenohumeral joint, um, your handles are not angled properly. This particular machine was actually designed by Jay Schroeder himself, um, and so it's actually angled perfectly. Um, and the other side of it is going to be you're just not in good position, and so you're putting a lot of load on the anterior part of the shoulder, the front of the shoulder. So this is a really complicated one. So I would I'd highly advise before you just get into this one to watch this video a couple times. And if you have questions, ask, um, because, you know, as with anything, yes, you can't hurt yourself, of course, and we don't want to see that, but you can aggravate your shoulder if you're not careful. So, and honestly, even in 11 years of doing this, I would say this is one of the ISO extremes that I have used the least, but for the population that can definitely get there, I really do like to use it because it's great for throwers. It's, it's great for everybody because it's going to help open everything up. Very similar to how that push-up does. So in the ISO Extreme dip, the same concepts that applied in the push-up are going to be present here. We're going to have forearms 90 degrees to the handles or to the ground. Our elbows are going to be about 45 degrees away from the body. Okay, 30, 45 degrees away from the body. We're going to be squeezing the upper back and shoulder blades. One of the things with this one is we want to try to curl up in a fetal position. So we always do it here, okay? But just so you can see me, I'll go here for right now. With this, what you would do is the, as you sink down into that position, we kind of want to curl up in a little bit of a fetal position like this, okay? Kind of like a little bit of a ball. I don't want to see legs out or legs behind. I kind of want to like right about here. I don't want leg trust or anything like that. And remember, I'd actually be turned around the other way on this one. Um, but just for the video purposes, you, you see what I'm doing. Hold the bottom position as long as you can. Squeezing, maintaining good position. Now, what I found is a lot of people can't do that. So if you want to incorporate this one, a good starting point, maybe actually do like a yielding ISO or extreme slow ISO. Start at the top and fatigue down. So you would, I'll go ahead and turn this way because it will bug my shoulders otherwise. So I'll be here, okay, curling up and I'll soften the elbows and right here, squeeze the upper back and shoulder blades. As you can tell, I'm already shaking. And then just fight that all the way down like that until you break position. Um, ISO Extreme Dip. If you have any questions, as with the other ones, leave a comment uh, below or send us an email at info at elitelevelperformance.com. And uh, we'll be happy to answer it.